What's up, y'all? Sports Hive Nate, y'all. David here. I'm sitting here watching the red zone, watching the late games, Giants, Buccaneers, Seahawks, Saints, uh, Chargers, Texans, and the Cardinals and the Panthers. Let me go ahead and say, first of all, my anger is over with. You know, like I said, this is week three. Nothing to, you know, to get too upset about, but it is a concern. It is a concern with the way we played today. Uh, congrats to the Colts. They came out and just smacked us in the mouth. You know, Falcon fans, if you want to use the injury excuse, you can use it. I will not because in the first half, we got down 20-3 to when we had our people in there. We just got smacked around. We were totally unprepared. Dan Quinn should be embarrassed. I'm embarrassed. The Falcon players should give back their paycheck. Um, I don't care about how we rallied in the second half. We did not win the ball game. Matt Ryan made some bad decisions. Our defense sucks. The tackling was atrocious. The late hit penalties were ridiculous and uncalled for. Ricardo Allen should be suspended next week. That's how I feel, and I will say it every day. He does not deserve to play next week. Uh, Falcons fans who get on me for speaking my mind, well, you guys can kick rocks because I, I don't come on here and tell any Falcons fan how to, how to support our team. But a lot of Falcons fans love to come on here and kind of tell me how I got to root for my team. Sorry. Bye. See you later. I tried. You're done. I'm done with you. Um, but it was embarrassing. Uh, the Saints are looking good right now. Unless a miracle happens, congrats to the Saints for going into Seattle and doing what you're doing. Um, I did not see that happening. Um, Tampa Bay Buccaneers and the Giants are in a close ball game here. Kudos to the Bucks. And the Panthers look like they're going to get their first win against the Cardinals. They suck. So this division is just going to be up in the air right now. I do got to ask this question. Players, not just Falcon players, but everybody in NFL, what are you doing to prepare your bodies? I have never seen so many damn injuries in my life. You can get blown on by a feather and you're hurt. Count O'Neill, I feel for you, my dude. But there are injuries all over the place. What are y'all doing? What is the NFL players, what is y'all's workout regimen like? I, that's what I want to know. I, I've never seen this the last couple years, but the Falcons deserve to be one and two. We are where we exactly deserve to be. And we need to beat the Titans next week at home because if we don't, I don't see us going to Houston to win. Why? If we can't beat Cousins and Jacoby Brissett on the road, we sure as hell ain't going to beat Deshaun Watson. So, Falcons, y'all better find some kind of mojo, something, and make sure you guys are two and two. That's all I'm saying. Uh, very winnable game next week for sure, but so is this one. Just depressing, but... Life will go on. You practice this as a football team. As soon as someone jumps offside, snap the ball, and 90% of the time you have everyone run a go route.